In Kashmir in the 8th century, the king, Lalita Ditya's capital, Parihaspura, was one of the great centers of Buddhism in the world. Magnificent stupas were built here by the king and by Chankuna, his Tokharian minister. King Lalita Ditya also made a large Vishnu temple and a Buddhist Jaitya at Parihaspura. The formidable mountains that ring the valley did not prevent Kashmiri monks from traveling constantly to Tibet, Central Asia and China. Between the 4th and 10th centuries, they conveyed the teachings of Buddhism far and wide. The trans-Himalayan lands of Spiti, Kinor and Ladakh are a magical place. The tallest mountains of the world stand guard. Thoughts of the eternal are never beyond the vision of man here. In this land, where everyday life is a challenge, Buddhism arrived very early. The Sani Stupa in Ladakh is believed to have been made by the Emperor Kanishka in the first century AD. There is a colossal sculpture of the Maitreya Buddha hewn out of the rock on the ancient route from Srinagar to Leh in Ladakh. It is made in the artistic style of Kashmir of the 8th and 9th centuries. There are other such colossal Buddhas and rock carvings of the 7th to the 9th centuries along the trade routes. These mark the movement of Buddhism and Kashmiri artistic influences to the high altitude plateau region. The first great diffusion of Buddhism in the Trans Himalaya was in the 8th century. Guru Padmasambhava established the religion in the entire mountainous region from Ladakh in the west to Arunachal Pradesh in the east. The great Guru had studied at the Nalanda University in eastern India. He was a famed master of Tantric Buddhism. He was called to Tibet when it was found that the people of that land were not easily taking to Buddhism. They remained fearful of the evil spirits and demons. The Guru brought with him his greater magic to tame the demons and made them defenders of the Buddhist faith. He swept across the high altitude plateau with the Chan or sacred mask dance with which he purified the land and made it ready for Buddhism. Till today, the Chum is performed across the entire mountainous region to keep the land pure for Buddhism to prosper. The Guru continues to be deeply revered as a deity and is known as the second Buddha. <laughs> 